Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're having a lovely day. Today we're going to talk about the command ch own. And if you don't pay attention, you're going to be ch owned. So, turn on that little brain of yours. Because this is the command used to change ownership of files. So we're going to use this command to get some practice with shared directories. So let's go ahead and create a directory in the home directory. And we'll just call this students. So this is going to be a shared directory for all student accounts to have access to assignments or whatever it might be. So we can change into the students directory and we can touch a file here. We'll just say assignment one and we might need to prefix this with sudo and that is based off of the permissions of the forward slash home directory and you can do ls dash la to see the home directory right here the permissions there's not write permissions given to other so you have to do it as a root to get the read write and execute permission for anything inside of this directory. But anyways, that's why we're prefixing things with sudo. So when you see we have assignment one, you can see the owner, which is root and root. Well, we might want to change this group from root to something else, such as students, which we created a group of students earlier, which we added to this user students. But if you need to create a group, you can say sudo group add students and that'll get you that group. So to assign this students group as the group owner for this file assignment one, what we will do is we will say sudo ch own or chone, however you want to pronounce this. And there's two parts to this. So you're going to separate the two parts with a colon, the left side being the owner or the user account and the right side being the group owner. So we're going to change the group. So we're just going to use the right side and we're going to say students and then the file we want to change, which is assignment one. Now, when we say ls dash L, you can see the owner is root and the group owner is students. So when you look at these permissions, the root user can read and write, and then anybody inside of the students group can read. And let's say we wanted to remove the permissions from everyone else. We can do that now. So we'll say sudo chmod other minus read assignment one. And now you can see the only the owner can read and write and the group can read. So let's try this out. We're going to switch users to another user which is called student, which I created this earlier. Again, if you need to create that, you can say sudo user add student. And you can see it says student already exists. So let's go ahead and switch that user using switch user hyphen student. And if you wanted to stay in the same directory, you can just get rid of that hyphen. So we're still in the students and we should be able to still see that file here. And we can say less assignment one and you can see what's inside of it, which is currently nothing. We can also use chown to change the file owners. Right now the file we have is owned by root. Let's go ahead and change it from root to our main account. So you can kind of think of it as an environment where you have students and then a main teacher which manages the whole system. Let's take a look at our files real quick. We have this one file owned by root. We'll say sudo chown. We're going to change the owner to our main account, whatever your account name is, and then the file, which is assignment one. Hit enter. And now you can see it's owned by parallels and students. So let's go ahead and switch user over to our other account. And from here, what I want to do is I want to echo tons of homework into the file assignment one. We don't have to do anything like sudo or anything fancy. And you can see our permissions allow us to read and write and we are the file owner. So we're good. So now we can say less assignment one and we can see all of the content of that file. And if we were to switch over to the student account, we're not able to issue any commands to modify this file. So let's say we said no homework. This is just not going to work. Permission denied. Now, obviously, right now, the students has the pseudo <laughs> group, which you're not going to want to leave that on for all of your students to use. So obviously, you can set up these permissions however you like. You can use 
owners and groups such that you could have a system where all the students can view the files created by the teacher. The teacher is the owner, so they can modify it. Then students can create their own files, which other students cannot modify. And the owner of that file, which is them, can edit it. So those, that's like an example environment you could set up. So that is your introduction to the ch own command. Obviously lots you can do with this. This is just supposed to be an introduction. So hopefully it was a good start and can get you set up and going for whatever assignment you have. Thank you, stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out.